Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Today we're going to install Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi 4. No PC will be needed for this installation thanks to the War or Windows on Raspberry Pi 4 flasher utility by BotSpy. Let's get started. Before we get started, I want to make sure to set the expectations properly. At the time this video was created, the official release of Windows 11 is a few weeks away on October 5th, 2021. The installation downloads straight from Microsoft's update servers using the War Flasher, and it's 100% legal. The OS is unlicensed after you install it to your Pi 4. Totally up to you if you decide to license it. Windows 11 can be installed entirely from the Raspberry Pi 4 or 400. No PC is needed for these steps. The audio output does work if you connect uh, external speakers to the AV output on the Raspberry Pi 4. Flashing Windows 11 to the SSD is going to take a while, probably around an hour to an hour and a half. And keep in mind, folks, this will not replace a PC. The performance is not that great. And I'd recommend this only for testing and experimentation. It's totally up to you, however you want to use it, but that's just my personal recommendation. That said, the BotSpot team has done an awesome job at actually making it possible for us to install Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi 4. You will need a Raspberry Pi 4, such as this one, which is an 8GB Raspberry Pi 4, as well as a copy of Pi OS 32-bit on a micro SD card. This is just going to be for the initial boot and setup. You can use either a USB flash drive or an SSD drive, such as this one, to install Windows 11. If so, you'll need the proper adapters in order to connect the SSD to your Raspberry Pi 4. For this video, I decided to use the DeskPi Pro version 2 case, which I recently reviewed. In that video, I had already installed a 1TB SSD, which is what I'll be using for Windows 11 here. So I'll pop in the micro SD with Pi OS 32-bit and go ahead and pop in the Ethernet connection to the back of the Raspberry Pi 4. And from there, we'll go ahead and grab our keyboard and mouse and plug it into the rear USB port here. Don't use the front ports as Windows 11 will not pick up on those particular ports. Now I'm going to power on the machine and go ahead and boot up Pi OS 32-bit. And I'm going to switch over to my video capture device so you can get a better look. We'll go to raspberrypi.org, click on the software link, and I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and select this text here in order to run the command to install Raspberry Pi Imager. I'll simply open a terminal and paste the contents of the command into the terminal window and press enter. Then we'll click the icon in the upper left and move down to accessories and select Imager. Now what I'm going to do here is actually format that SSD drive. So I'm going to select choose OS and move down to the bottom and click the erase. From there, I'll click choose storage and select my one terabyte SSD and then click the right button. Once prompted, if you're sure, go ahead and click yes and the contents of the SSD will be wiped clean. And from there, you can just click continue and close it out. Now that step may not have been absolutely necessary, but I feel better knowing that I'm starting with a clean SSD. Now we'll go ahead and launch the Chromium browser and go to the github.com botspot war flasher page right here. And if we look off to the right, we can see all the people who contributed to this repository of code, which allows us to install Windows 11 to our Raspberry Pi 4. There's some additional information here, so be sure and read through all of this. It's very good information. However, we're going to go ahead and jump directly into the installation. To manually download the War Flasher, we'll select the git clone command here and copy it to the clipboard. And from there, we'll open a terminal window and go ahead and paste the contents of that command into the terminal window and press enter. From there, the download will complete. Of course, I already have it installed here. Next, we'll go ahead and run the War Flasher using the graphical interface. So we'll copy this command and return to our terminal and go ahead and paste the contents of that command into the terminal, press enter. That command will install a few additional packages and go ahead and install them to your Raspberry Pi 4. And once complete, 
you'll have this graphical user interface pop up to guide us through the remainder of the installation process. Clicking the install drop down, you can select Windows 11, Windows 10. We'll go with Windows 11 on a Raspberry Pi 4. So we'll select that and then simply click Next. Then select your language. I'll select EN US and then go ahead and click the Next button. And then select your SSD or USB drive. I'm going to select my SSD drive and click the Next button. The installation overview dialog will then appear to provide you with some details on how the installation will proceed. I'll size the window a little bit larger so you can see the contents of the config.txt file. However, there's nothing we need to change at this time. You do want to pay attention to the warning at the bottom that all data on the destination drive will be deleted once you click the flash button. Speaking of which, let's click it and move on. Now all the packages will be downloaded. This process will take a little while. Just go ahead and let it complete. And once it's done, you'll see this dialog letting you know that the process has completed. Now click the close button and we'll move up to the upper left and click the icon and move down to log out and go ahead and shut down the Raspberry Pi 4. Everything we need for Windows 11 has already been written to the SSD so we can remove the micro SD card and power on the Raspberry Pi 4. Press the escape key until you get into the configuration menu, then move down to device manager and go ahead and press enter, and then move on down to where it says Raspberry Pi configuration, press enter there. At this point, we'll go ahead and leave it at the defaults, so go ahead and press the escape key to go back, and then move on down to display configuration, and you want to press the space bar to uncheck these and only select the 720p. Once done, press the escape key, move down to advanced configuration, and you want to disable the RAM limit to 3 gigabytes. I think by default it is enabled, but go ahead and set it for disabled. So we can use the full amount of RAM available on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now we'll just press the escape key and press Y to save the configuration, escape, and then move on down to the continue and press enter on that and enter again to reset the Pi. You'll then see the Raspberry Pi boot image and the extraction of the files and installation of Windows 11 will begin. From this point is pretty much the standard Windows install stuff. Go ahead and set your country or region, accepting the license agreement, naming your PC, choosing your privacy settings, and in just a moment, the installation will complete. And from here, we'll move on to taking a look at Windows 11 on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now that we have Windows 11 installed, it's only fitting that we take a look around. I'll go ahead and open up a new desktop. Then I'll launch File Explorer so you can see how long it takes to start up. I will be speeding through some aspects here just because it does take a little while. I'll let you know when I do with the little fast forward symbol. If I right click on the C drive, we'll take a look at the properties and go ahead and click that. And here we go. There's our one terabyte SSD. I'll go ahead and close out of there and I am going to fast forward through this part and go ahead and launch the Microsoft Edge browser. Search for this YouTube channel, Wagner's Tech Talk, and I'll pull up one of my videos at 720p with Stats for Nerds turned on and we can see that a large majority of the frames are being dropped. Now let's drop it down to 480p and as you would expect there's far fewer frames that are dropped. Now I'm going to go over here and go to the All Apps and we'll locate Paint and here we go. I'm not going to fast forward until I begin doodling and here we go. I'm going to maximize it. Now I'm fast forwarding and just doodling in Paint. And lastly, I'll go ahead and start up Task Manager so you can take a look at the resource utilization here. First off, our CPU. We're running the ARM Cortex A72 at 1.5 gigahertz. Our memory utilization is at 2.2 gigs being used with 5.4 gigabyte available on an 8 gigabyte Raspberry Pi 4. Our disk utilization looks pretty good and of course our network is pretty good as well. I hope you enjoyed this look at Windows 11 running on a Raspberry Pi 4. As I mentioned at the beginning this isn't a replacement for your PC but it is exciting to see Windows 11 running on a Raspberry Pi 4. 
Perhaps in the future, we'll see additional performance improvements, and maybe with the Raspberry Pi 5 or 6, the improvements will make this a viable option for everyday use. What do you think about Windows 11 running on a Raspberry Pi? Please comment below with your thoughts. Well, that's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I will talk to you very soon.